previously on Aaron's Collection. Yes, I know I've not been uploading many videos as of late, but fingers crossed I can sort of get back into it and I'll start uploading more regularly. Okay, so that was obviously a blatant lie. But I've been away too long and I thought since we have now entered a new era of the Pokemon trading card game, what better time would there be to make my triumphant return to YouTube? Let's get straight back into it. We're going to kick things off with a Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box, a Pokemon Center Edition, so a little bit more expensive, but there's a little bit more crap inside. Let's get into it and see what we've got. Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX. So this is the back of the ETB showing everything that we get inside. We've got 11 booster packs, a full art promo card featuring Maridon, which is there. Obviously, we'll get into that later. Some sleeves, yada, yada, yada. You guys have seen me open up Elite Trainer Boxes. You know that we only care about the packs and the promo. Everything else is just fucking garbage. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer before I get into this, uh, this ETB. I've not actually played the new games, so this could be an absolute shit show. But it's going to be good banter. Let's crack on. Let's slide this bad boy off and see what's cracking. Is there? Oh, there is. Forgot about that. Been a while since I've actually opened any cards. I've still been around collecting, but I just haven't uh, opened any packs. I forgot that all Elite Trainer Boxes have some artwork inside. There we go. So we have a, a Gyarados. The starters there, Fuicoco, Quaxley, Sprigatito, Weed Cat, and the two legendaries, Maridon and Kuridon. We have the player's guide. These colours really, really pop together. The purple, the pink, the yellow, really, really nice. And you guys know what's in there, pictures of all the cards. What I will go through quickly though is, there's been some changes to the Pokemon trading card game with Scarlet and Violet. As you can see, no more yellow borders. They've gone silver, they're matching the Japanese, finally. Gone at their horrendous, ugly yellow borders. Nice. But I mean, who actually looks in this? Why did they include this? Time to actually get into this Elite Trainer Box and see what goodies are inside then. So, as usual, the big wasteful piece of cardboard trash. Get rid of that piece of shit. And let's grab something at random to start with. So, we have the poison and burn markers now. I kind of prefer the old ones, but... These kind of look higher quality, but I definitely prefer the designs of the old ones. But, you know, I don't play the game, so these will just get shoved in a drawer to never be looked at again. I mean, Pokemon quality control is still brilliant, as we can see. Look at the fucking state of that. Massive scratch and dents all in it. I know I mean, these are just mass-produced pieces of cheap plastic, but still. Horrendous. Look how sharp that is. Meh. Some more tat. This time dice. We have the sleeves. Now... These are banging. These absolutely pop. The, the colours on this are really, really nice. And, you know, I've not played the games, but my Rhydon looks like a much better design than the Rhydon. The yellow also pops. But are they still... Are they still... Yeah, the semi-transparent sleeve, so having your cards in it, kind of, you lose some of the look of the cards and the texture. Why have they, do they still do this? But, you know, the actual design of the back of the sleeve is banging, so we'll let them off. We have the dividers, again, with those same purple and gold colours, which absolutely pop. Similar artwork on the back as the sleeves. Now, what I will say is the quality of these feels a lot better than what we were getting towards the end of the uh, Sword and Shield era. The cardboard was all jagged and, you know, looked really poorly cut. These look nice. I've uh, started keeping a lot more cards in Elite Trainer Boxes, like all my bulk and things, so... The uh, dividers are starting to get a lot of use. So not that you can see them when there's cards all in front, but if they're up in the quality, we'll take it. Everyone's favourite item from the Elite Trainer Box, the big block of energy cards. Not going to lie, these energy cards, I mean, it says basic energy, but they do look really basic design-wise. I know they're just an energy card, but the, uh, the last sort of design we had in Sword and Shield looked quite nice, you know, as far as energy card goes. You know what, Aaron, sort it out. We're in a new era. Stop being so pessimistic. Stop being down. Just talk about the positives. There's no positives about energy cards, so let's swiftly move on. And we have the two promo cards. Yes, that's right, two. So for the Scarlet and Violet era, all Elite Trainer Boxes are coming with a promo card now, I believe. But as this is the, uh, the Pokemon Center edition, you get an extra promo card with the Pokemon Center stamp. Isn't that nice and generous of them? 
Let's uh, get it out of the plastic and take a closer look. Yeah, that's an absolutely banging card for a promo. Look how good the art is on that. I know a lot of Japanese collectors are complaining that the you know Japanese secret rares, cards that are hard to pull, are just given away as promos in English. But I think it's a good thing. Condition-wise, not too bad. A few couple dings here and there. The back looks like... Yeah, not too bad. It's just this top corner. And final look, that is... Uh, Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield, idiot. Scarlet and Violet promo 13. Obviously with the Pokemon Center stamp. Just quickly before we get into any packs, this promo card also came with my Elite Trainer box. I think it was a, pro a special promotion on the Pokemon Center website. If you spent over 30 pounds, you got this. A Lechonk Reverse Hollow promo. So yeah, Reverse Hollows in this, uh, in this era are absolutely banging, look at that design is so much better than Sword and Shield and you can actually read the writing which makes life easier and because it's a promo you get the Pokemon Center stamp and on to our main event the 11 booster packs of Scarlet and Violet base set 11 packs seems a bit of a, a random number to give away but never mind let's take a quick look at a full art set so we have Maridon, Coridon, Gyarados now, if I'm correct in thinking it's a it's crystal because of a Tetra or Terra crystal, some gimmick in the game where you can turn a Pokemon crystal and it changes its type. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, this is going to be an absolute shit show as I've not actually played Scarlet or Violet yet. And then the final pack art that we've not seen yet is of the three starters from the new game. So we've got Quaxley, Coco, and Sprigatito, my personal favourite, that weed kitten. And here's a quick look at the uh, Scarlet and Violet starters from a recent promo set that I purchased. Didn't actually buy the collection boxes, just bought the promos itself because the packs were all gash from uh, Sword and Shield, but still. Loving the new holo pattern for this era, it pops. Love the silver borders, was a big fan of that in Japanese, so finally glad that's finally come to English. Now, the part we've all been waiting for, let's finally crack into some new packs for this new era of Pokemon training card game. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's see what we can pull from our first pack of Scarlet and Violet base set. They have kind of switched up what you can get in a booster pack now. I'll, I'll put it up on screen, but basically you are guaranteed three hollows in a pack. You're guaranteed two reverse hollows and one normal hollow or better. They've, they've changed everything around as well. So there's illustration rares, special illustration rares, hyper rares, and they've all got different stars and star colors. Not 100% sure what they all mean, but Let's crack into it and see what we've got. So, there's also no, no card trick anymore. The cards are basically in an order with your rare at the very back. So, that makes life easier for people to open up packs on the internet. So, get rid of that. Uh, this should be an energy card. Yeah, get rid of water energy. And away we go. Our first look at Scarlet and Violet base set. Mankey. Squawkabilly. Oh, I get it. Rockabilly, yeah. Rockabilly haircut. Oh, very clever. Capsa Kid. Never seen that Pokemon before. Alamomola. Yeah, I've seen that artwork. Well, I feel like I've seen that artwork before or something very similar. Obviously, this artist down here we've seen numerous times. Always a fan of their cards. Always very trippy artwork. Rock chest plate. Put that on if you want to look like Dwayne Johnson. Sititan, Setitan, God knows. Again, apologies, I'm gonna butcher everything about this, all the new Pokemon. But hey ho, it's good banter. This is great banter. Team Star Grunt. So is this like the Team Rocket of this game? I'm imagining so. We have a Reverse Holo Flamigo. Ooh, I did know there was a Flamingo Pokemon. But as I was saying before, look at the Reverse Holo pattern now. Absolutely pops, especially for these um, normal types. All well, the colours at the bottom look really, really nice, you know. For reverse hollow, and obviously reverse hollows are going to be cheap now, you're guaranteed two a pack. Yeah, very nice. Pops. And you can really, really easily make a whole reverse hollow deck if you want now. It's not going to be hard to pull all the cards. We got Fue Coco reverse hollow. Again, that fire type reverse. Very, very nice pattern. And our first rare is. Ooh, ooh, a King Gambit. What is. Ooh, a re a evolution of B sharp. Decent, didn't know that existed. Like, I've been very, very hesitant to look up anything for the new game, so I'm not spoiled. So, 
basically all of this is going to be a surprise to me so i'm going to be popping at the very very basic minor things which you guys have probably seen months and months ago b sharp finally got an evolution that's cool this guy's got a big fat fuck off sword sticking in his head nice on to another pack then i enjoyed that i've not opened any cards in a while so that was nice especially with the uh New era, it's always nice getting into a new set, but especially when there's such big changes as this, very, very nice. And what I will say as well, the cards feel like they're on a much nicer stock now. I know, you know, during Sword and Shield, we have COVID and, you know, scalping issues and they were struggling to meet demand and the quality went down, but these feel like a really nice quality card stock. So hopefully we get a better quality of card going forward. So get rid of a metal energy and away we go earlier. As I says that, as there's a massive nick in the first card in the pack, but never mind, it's just bulk, no one cares. Curlier, Switch, Nintendo Switch, Fue Coco, Tropius with his bananas for a chin, Cyclizar, I'm assuming that probably evolves into Maridon or Coridon, looks very, very similar, could be wrong, never mind. Toad School, wait, is that a Tentacruel that's grass type, and is that a Tend to cool that can walk? Or am I wrong? Correct me if I'm wrong, like I said, I've seen very, very little of the new games, try not to be spoiled, so this is all brand new to me. Mouse, so mouse, mouse hold? Is that because there's a load of, is that just one Pokemon? And they call it a mouse hold because there's a group of them, like a household of mice? What's it evolved from? Tandem mouse. Tandem mouse. And, oh, Tandem Mouse, there's two. Oh, that's clever, very clever. Uh, oh, wow. Normal type also has all the colours at the bottom, much like the reverse. Yeah, these are banging. I'm, 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 this has got me excited for opening cards again. You know, the, the quality and the... Yeah, banging, banging. Loving the silver borders. Let's crack on. I'm, I'm popping, I'm popping. Reverse Hollow Potion. One day I hope to see a potion with a good artwork. I mean, it is a very basic item, but, you know, it's a, it's a classic. It's been there since the first game. Give it the props it deserves. Reverse Hollow Potion. Reverse Hollow Primate. And the rare in this pack is a Toxicroak EX. We will take that EX pack. Ooh! EX pattern is popping. Look at all those stars. Now I knew the EX cards were coming back. They, you know, they were, you know, a one. They were back in the day. A particular type of format from uh, a while back. But I'm glad they brought them back. No more VVs or VMAXs. We're all about the EXs and look at that sparkle popping the night. Decent. We'll take a hit in our, in our second pack for sure. Bang in. On to our third pack then. Apologies if you can hear birds in the background. There's birds in my garden making an absolute racket. Apologise if, uh, if I seem like I'm overexcited about these cards as well, by the way. It's just, if you've opened Pokemon cards for a long time, this, this set just feels really, really nice for some reason. I guess it's good that you're guaranteed a hollow and the cards feel good. It's all new colours, new Pokemon. I'd probably be less excited if I play the games, but this is this is new. I've seen a lot of new shit for the first time, so it's, it's decent. It's exciting. Uh, Psychic Energy to start with, and we go with a Blittle. I've not seen that before. Looks like something in a little summer's dress dancing through the meadow. Surviper. That's not a new Pokemon. Even the artwork looks very, very familiar to me. Houndor, ooh, that is banging artwork on that Houndor with the Pokemon Center in the background. Very reminiscent of a Pokemon Ghost, actually, with the, uh, there's like a Pokestop behind. Nice. Citadel, that's a new Pokemon. Pretty poor design. I'm not going to rag on the design too much, because, I mean, even Gen 1 had shit lazy designs, like a uh, Voltorb. Dash Bun. Ooh, okay. That's a dog with, like, bread for ears. Evolves from Fido. Huh, very, very clever. I'm liking the puns. I'm enjoying the puns. I want more pun Pokemon. Pokemon company. That felt hard to say quickly. Yeah, well-baked body. Wish I was well-baked right now. Cracking on. Tatsuguri. It's a little fish. Scovillian. Oh, that's quite cool. It's like a uh, two bell peppers and, you know, the Scoville scale of uh, how hot a pepper is. It's this mean bastard's got two uh, very spicy heads. Super spicy breath. Maridon, Maridon my cock. That's a really nice reverse hollow as well, actually, the electric lightning, sorry. Nice, what's our next reverse? A Porniard. 
mm, doesn't quite work the reverse hollow pattern with the dark cards as much, but that's been the same since for as long as I've done reverse hollows. And the rare in this pack is, ooh, a full hollow penny. Tell you what, we're not doing too bad. Two hits out of three packs so far. I'll always take a full art trainer, especially a waifu. Even if Sheldon is going to come knocking at my door any minute now. Who do we love? Penny. Onto the fourth pack with Mariah and artwork. Two hits out of three packs so far, not too bad. I have heard that pull rates in this set are really, really good. And all the hype bros and investment bros are all getting really annoyed because, you know, Oh, dude, sick, my investment's not worth as much anymore. But fuck you, it's cards. You shouldn't be investing in cardboard anyway. Pokeball. Rotom. You know, having good pull rates just means everyone can get the cards they want rather than having to spend a fortune like Evolving Skies or Fusion Strike. Although it's since come to light that that's the reason why that is, is because there was people stealing cards off the production line. Not going to do a video on that, and everyone else has, but look it up. Rotom, Palpad, Toxel, Pachirisu, a picnic basket. Yogi Bear going to be stealing that. Hey, boo boo, let's see what we got in this picnic basket. <laughs> Bombardier, Bomb Bombardier, Bombardier, that's quite cool, you know. Yeah, a mean looking bird. There's always a mean looking bird in a Pokemon. Capsicid Reverse Hollow, Reverse Hollow Ryolu, and the rare in this pack is ooh a full art Toxicroak EX. We are doing well out of this ETB. Whew. Two full arts in three packs. That is absolutely banging. Colours on that pop with the blue and the orange background. I mean, didn't we? I've also pulled the normal Toxicroak EX, so I'll take that. That's good. As I was saying about the star system, this is a, a double gold star, I believe. I can't remember how, is that the rarest? No, I think there's a three, a triple gold star. Could be wrong. I'll look at the end, but yeah. Bang in, this ETB is, uh, we're doing well. We're doing well. You watch, there'll be no more pulls for the rest of this elite trainer box now. It's all been front heavy. But never mind, we're having fun opening cards together, like friends do. Never mind, I'll never say that again in my life. Jesus Christ, cringe. Starly, ooh, a Yukimori. It is a Yukimori with the plasticine artwork. Big fan of these cards. Always love seeing them pop up. Tarantula. Tarantula? Tarantula? Not the most original name, but we'll take it. Quite cool artwork. Wattrel. You know, electric bird. Fair enough. Krokorok. Ooh. That is some banging artwork. Looks like he's got Hyrule Castle or Peach's Castle behind him. Could even be Disney Castle, actually. <coughs> Fuck. Apologies. Christ. Floatsaw. Miriam. So, Christ, that has absolutely destroyed my throat. Bear with me. Apologies. Getting back to it. So, the, the one of the best cards in this set is the Mir Miriam uh, Full Art Alternate Art. Not 100% sure of everything's got weird names now, but there's a Miriam card that's worth the most money. But everyone seems to be pulling it, so the value is probably going to tank soon. The the second best card you want to pull is the uh, Mariah on alternate art. They're the two best value wise. Both both nice arts, but you know, there's a lot of other nice looking cards in the set, not just a monetary value. Miriam, Lucario, Reverse Hollow Chansey. Ooh, bang in! Now this is another. This is a really good card that you want to get from this set. Oh, God of War EX Special Illustration, I believe. So there's a, there's a whole set of it of all three evolutions. It tells a story of this God of War getting older with the uh, with the family. I'll put them up on the screen. Really, really nice. Then there's I think there's going to be some of these cards in all the sets going forward. But I am absolutely buzzing to have pulled out. Look at the texture on that bad boy. Bang in. Very, very happy. And the rare on the back is just a normal Coriadan Hollow, but. No one cares about that. It's all about this bad boy. Absolutely stunning card. People weren't lying. The pull rates in this set are brilliant. I'm never ever going to complain about putting crap again. If I've only had one pack so far that was just a basic holo. That's absolutely brilliant. Bang in. Another pack. I tell you what. These pull rates are ridiculous. The Pokemon done it very, very clever and just made the base set really hard to pull, really easy to pull cards in rather, to hook people back in. 
Or is it going to be like this going forward? Because if so, I mean, brilliant. The worst thing about some of the Sword and Shield sets with some of the you know, secret rares and stuff are impossible to pull. Flabebe, Rolfs, Growlithe, cute artwork on that. Shuppet, very, very similar to, uh, is the Vivid Voltage Shuppet? I'll, I'll put it up on screen, but very, very similar artwork. Hypno, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Reverse Hollow Rock Chestplate, Reverse Hollow Tandem Mouse, or Dead Mouse, I don't know. I, I, I like the pun, the pun's good. Tandem Mouse, there's, there's, you know, there's two mice, it's quite clever. And the heart, ooh, another hit, what is going on? Burnett EX, banging hollow pattern again, I love the star hollow foils. Again, something that was a lot more common in Japanese as of late, but they're bringing it all back in English. Buzzing. Again, the, the hit rate continues. Halfway through the Elite Trainer Box now, then. We've only had one, what I would call a duff pack, with uh, just a basic hollow in, which is now guaranteed. And wow. Four eights are fantastic. Tandem Mouse. Smoliv. Uh, it's clever. It's a small olive. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm a big fan of puns, especially when it comes to Pokemon names. Primeape, poor me. Definitely not poor me for paws. I'm getting banging paws. That should be called good me or happy me. KT, Star Raptor, Electric Generator, Reverse Hollow Flabebe, Reverse Hollow Cyclozar, and the rare Annihilate. Wait, what? Oh, Primeape's got an evolution now, has he? Nice, that looks mean as fuck. I should really start playing these games. It's just so I know what's going on. Yeah, definitely going to start playing Scarlet and Violet soon. Scarlet, shall I say. Yeah, nice artwork on that. Our second dud pack, if you can call it a dud, at least it's got something shiny at the end with a Pokemon I hadn't seen before. Another Coridon pack art. So, two, two duds out of... However many packs so far, I've kind of lost count. It's really good going. It was really good going. I know people have uh, said that the pull rates in this set are good, but I wasn't quite expecting them to be that good. Poor Mo. Obviously an evolution of poor me that we just saw. Quite a cute, nice little belly rub. Would he attack you like a cat? Probably. Toad School. So, is this a tentacle and tentacrawl that can now walk like a... Uh, a regional variant, or is it a completely new Pokemon? I'll have to Google that after, or, you know, play the game. Rotom, motor backwards. Chansey! Zangoose. Youngster. I'm not a nonce, don't worry. Flaffy. Reverse hollow Pormo. Reverse hollow Ralts. And a holographic Arbeliever. And Dolive. That must be the, the triple evolution. We haven't seen a Dolliv yet, but I'm sure it'll come soon. Um, another dud pack then, but we'll take it. We can't complain with the pools we've got so far. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there's nothing else in the last few packs, but we can't be we can't be complaining. Beggars can't be choosers. We've done very, very well out of this elite trainer box so far. Just as an uh, FYI for anyone watching these videos, Scarlet and Violet packs can be weighed, apparently due to uh, the code cards being the same all the way through now. So if you've got hits, your pack will be heavier. But FYI, not that I've been weighing these and I never would weigh packs, but something to be wary of if you're buying sing uh, open packs from randomers online. Tarantula again. Riolu. Magneton. Clawitza. Wug... Wait, what, mate? It's just... Wiglet, is that like an like a, a regional variant of Diglett? Kind of looks like a sperm, and this is a, a regional variant of Dugtrio. Looks like some very angry sperm, some sperm that's come from a gonorrhea-ridden cock. Who knows? But yeah, I'll have to. I've, I've got to start playing these games. What am I playing at? Judge. My name is Judge. Whose name is Judge? My name is. Floatzel. Reverse Hollow's Team Star Grunt. Reverse hollow houndstone. So, grave dog. Grave dog. Dead dog. And the rare in this pack is an armor rouge. Yeah, we're getting we're getting we're getting to the duds now. This uh, this ETB was obviously front packed, but we can't complain. We can't complain.
On to our final two packs then, let's leave the uh, the starters until the end. Get into this Maridon pack. So, will we have anything to finish the video off with, I wonder? Who knows? A bit of a lightning energy. Grievard or Gravard, not 100% sure. These look like Litwi Litwicks around the outside, but I know they're not. I remember seeing this Pokemon in some uh, some advertising before the uh, before Scarlet and Violet came out. Is it something like if you get anywhere near this dog that you die? A bit grim for Pokemon, but never mind. Mashif, it's an angry dog. A lot of dogs in this set. Pawniard, Wiglet, there we go, the, the new Sperm Diglet. Looks fucking ridiculous. Team Star Grunt, Lucario, Rock Chestplate. Reverse Hollow Squawk Billy. Ooh, there we go. Is that an illustration rare? Illustration rare Clauncher. That's nice. Look at that. Basically, like the trainer galleries of the last few sets, but they're just full arts. Ah, that's really nice. Is that Screlp in the background? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Nice. We'll take that. And the rare on the end. A Skelly Dirge. So is that. Croc I'm thinking this is the final evolution of Fuecoco. So the, the fire starter, that guy, I think so. I've not, I've never seen it before. Like I said, I've, I've tried to keep away from the games, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't look great. Maybe it looks better in the games. I mean, that thing looks fucking ridiculous. The middle evolution, why's he got an egg on his head? Maybe they look better in animation, who knows? But you know, let's see what's in our last pack. Onto our final pack of the Elite Trainer Box then. Definitely can't complain out of these 11 packs. We've got hits in way more than half. I think my maths could be wrong. So I wish you soon that needs to uh, get everyone doing maths. And again, we can be political on this channel sometimes. Fire Energy, Rare Candy, Fido. Love the name of that Pokemon. Love the design. Very, very cute. Dedene, classic. Pineco, Ooh, Blissey, Tatsugiri. Jack. Think of me as just Jack. <laughs> reverse holo slowpoke. Reverse holo pawniard. And our final rare in this video is a bog standard professor's research. And that is Professor Turo. Must be one of the professors from one of the games. Well, we've done all right. We definitely can't complain. That's all from me for today. I'm definitely back in the TCG world now. I've loved opening this set. There'll be plenty of videos going forward soon. Unless I'm lying again, then I'll see you again in about six months. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.